This patient has many blocked nose, so he has caudal dislocation and enlarged inferior turbinate with deviated nose to the left side. The patient requests to correct only the deviation. He doesn't want any change in the shape of his nose. He wants to keep the hump, he wants to keep the tip. So we are going, in order to, I mean, from the rhinoplasty point, we are going to do osteotomies and, and the right spider graft in order to achieve balance and straight nose as much as we can from the function. We are going to do a full septoplasty with correction of caudal dislocation and tongue in the groove technique and columnar strut and also we'll do partial trimming of the inferior turbinate. Thank you for watching. The patient has, the patient has severe caudal dislocation with debated septum to the right side as you see. That's not straightforward case. So we start our incision. And you can see on the right, on the right plane there, you see the pericondium is nicely turned there. And we just try to stay on the right plane now. So on the right plane, my dissector is going very easily all the way through. You see now, you see the cartilage from inside. But the septum is grossly deviated and making like a sigmoid shape. Sigmoid shape. as you see and now we about which is the caudal septum there we go about 1.5 centimeter behind and inside the cartilage and get access to the right very conjure flap and again we are on the right plane there and we go on the way through this sigmoid is shaped it's shame. And now with 1.5 below the caudal septum, remove this kinked piece of cartilage. See how it's kinked and, and curved. And then we can now continue removing the kinked and suction inside, suction, suction. Oh, this is yes, it's quite difficult case from the septum point. Severe deviation. Give me the sector again and fix the head. And we turn him again. You see all the bone, you see, and you can hear the tick tick, which is a bone, it's not cartilage. You hear, see, it's all bone. Okay, the sector. We're going now near the maxillary crest down. Now, after you have done all this job, the patient can go to another, come back to you, and he go to another doctor to him. You still some deviations there because the other doctor he did not know what the situation before, and they want you to keep fighting with the septum until you cause perforation. This about I mean how bad really we difficult to practice, we practice because always your competitor try to to beat you. This way, look now how nice is the septum there. Look now, very intact, intact flap there, very intact flap there. And you see what, what, what we have done now. And as I said, I'll stay, I mean, he would come now, go to somebody else maybe after one year to just for routine check and tell him, oh, still is the deviation there. The surgeon did not correct nicely your, your code and septum. They want 100% correction. Who can achieve 100% correction? Just preparing the caudal septum for my tongue in, tongue in groove technique. Tongue in the groove technique, you see. 
Okay. Now give me two small steps. Just put a very, very easy tunnel. Tunnel between the two meters of core. And then, okay. Give me now. So, 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 So we got now the quadriceptor between the two meter cura with this good suture. Straight needle. Okay. Give me now first, sorry, knife again. Knife again. And five scissors. Again, we want to just put a nice columnar like spot to compensate for the loss of tip support caused by the coda dislocation. So this is very important to give tip support and to prevent columnar retraction because you have no no quadriceptum support. We are trying to achieve quadriceptum support as much as we can.
I saw the other one to get uh, yeah, the yeah. other headband. Yeah. Not yet. See, going behind the media decora because we don't want to score so many holes is the media decora and the graft so we are going behind the media decora trying to get the quarter septum back to the midline as you see fix it there only one screw the media decora one switch shell only As I said, the patient doesn't want to have his change in the shape of his nose. He wants to have only the correction of the <coughs> now no more code dislocation, it's corrected almost by 90%. Okay, now we need to put the mark in there. The division has got severe deviation, so we need a sweeter graft there or on underlay graft or the abrator cartridge to balance the C shape dorsal deformity there in this area. Okay. So we look there and we'll go just with the abrator cartridge, so we'll go under the cartridge. The dorsal septum junction between the cartridge and dorsal septum. And give me sharp to try to go under the cartilage, under the cart above the above the mucosa. You are there. Okay. Mm. Thick this one. Try to thin it. Pressure. With the pressure, try to thin it slightly. <laughs> so this is graph there will balance the C shape. Those are deformity, one, two, four steps. So it will go there to correct the C shape near the deformity there. C shape cartilage has no some deformity. Okay, that's it. Okay, so it's in the bucket now. See where it is there. Exactly there. And switch there now. Switch there. Close. Put refractor. Cut here. Yes. See now closing. Closing on the graft. Small bite to the mucosa and also the graft. Because the sister going through the graft also in order to avoid the graft displacement. Long, long, long. Okay, leave it now. 
If you look now from above, you see we achieve exact balance now between two sides. This balance the cartilaginous dogs and now excretate. Excretate to avoid the adhesions. We still, uh, I found this is one of the best actually after, after full sterilization <coughs> because it's easy to see. So the silicone white color difficult to see. So I've been using this since I was in Oxford in the 80s. And actually in all UK in the 80s, all NHS hospital, I trained there for 10 years. And from SHO up to a consultant, different. And everybody was used to use this X-ray sheet in the 80s. So it's cheap, available, easy to sterilize, cut it. And cut this one. And also easy to put, easy to remove. Tom, now do our osteotomy. And this fix the head for me. They said another surgeon has taken the, the surgeon in the hospital here has taken the head ring, which I use. <laughs> we don't like to go and fight now. So, middle middle osteotomy, the lateral osteotomy. As I said, the patient doesn't want any change in the shape of his nose. He wants to keep the hump, he wants to keep the tip. <coughs> Only correct the deviation as much as possible. So it's to me to correct the bony deviation and the right underlay abatal cartilage graft at the junction of the abatal cartilage with the dorsum septum is to correct this C-shaped deviated cartilaginous dorsum. I know you see, full mobilization, see full mobilization, we need the bone right, left, left, right, so we'll back to the midline now as much as we can. And the nose is almost straight. You see full mobilization of the nasal bone without any collapse, as you see, without any collapse. So the nose is now absolutely straight before was grossly deviated to the left side with asymmetry of the nasal, nasal bony side walls. And now, look from above, you see how the nose become absolutely straight because we straighten the bony by osteotomy and we straighten this area with the, with the right sweeter or right underlay of the cartilage graft. Now we do the partial turbinectomy. Okay, hold the head. Let us just do now. I'll do first in fracture. In fracture of the table, hold the head nicely. Otherwise, I cannot get it right. So again, we do your basher table next to motor to go right angle. Don't go like this. You should, you should arrive and get, otherwise if you go like this, you remove most of the turbinate. If you go like this, you remove whatever you want. This half or less of the turbinate. So it's quite a large allergic turbinate. Quite large and allergic turbinate. Now it's only half of it. That's only half of the turbinate. And I will show you the other half now. Quite large, huge 
the middle of the sector. And you see now there, you see the upper half of the table. Can you see it? Can you see it? The upper half table is still all the way through. So again, we'll do the same on this side. In the fact here, remove. Remove. You see the right, right angle. Again, the lower half of the rice turbine, that is there, you see. And you can see there, you can see the upper half, can you see? You can go, because you are not in the right angle, go, go like this, you will see. Uh -huh. Can you see now? Yeah. See, the upper half is still there, so it's partial trimming. Barshire Temin of inferior turbinate, as you see, okay. You see, with all my technical difficulty now, the head is dancing on patient pillow because one of the surgeons working next to me took my, my pillow. So I use all of it, I don't know why they're allowed to take. Okay. These are back. back now, see patient, no breathing. And you see now, the upper the turbinate, the upper portion is in full, can you see it? In full there, so let's put it back and I want back now. Okay, the other side. The main thing is that you put your back on the edge of, of your cut edge. You don't have to put very huge back because if you cover the cutting edge, the raw area, that's enough. People usually go and back like this, like this, and, and then leave the, the, the turbinate without any pressure. We only cover, mainly cover the your raw area, the way you, you made your cut. So that's it. We've been done now. We did full septoblasty, correction of coda dislocation, columnar start, osteotomies, right with graft or right under the graft. And bilateral tibin of inferior tibinate in about 23 minutes, as you have seen. So we achieved, as you see now, we achieved quite, quite a straight, quite a straight nose compared to the to this. A grossly deviated nose to the left side with osteotomy, right speed graph, correction of the coda dislocation and the, the bilateral partial bilateral partial coming of the inferior turbinate there. Bilateral partial coming of the inferior turbinate. It's only half of the turbinate patient has got a huge allergic allergic turbinate. Okay, that's enough. Okay, give me that. Okay, so thank you very much for watching Bashar Bizra from Organoblasi Bizra Academy in London and Dubai. Thank you.